Have you ever found yourself in a state where it seems as though life is unfolding around you, with you as a mere spectator rather than an active participant? Perhaps each morning feels like a replay of the last, where you navigate through the day on autopilot, reacting to events rather than driving them. If this resonates with you, know that you're not alone in this sentiment. Many people experience a longing for a stronger sense of agency and purpose in their lives. The reality is that we wield far more influence over the trajectory of our lives than we often acknowledge. While external factors undoubtedly shape our experiences, from unexpected twists of fate to the actions of others, fixating on these aspects can leave us feeling disempowered and adrift. However, by redirecting our attention towards the elements within our control, we can begin to reclaim agency and chart a course towards a more fulfilling existence. Picture a life where each day is infused with a sense of purpose and intentionality. Instead of merely reacting to circumstances, you proactively shape your reality through conscious choices and intentional habits. Taking control of your life isn't about micromanaging every detail or attempting to bend the world to your will. Rather, it involves strategically allocating your energy towards the areas that align with your values and aspirations. By honing in on these controllable domains, be it your mindset, habits, or goals, you can cultivate a greater sense of autonomy and satisfaction. It's about recognizing that while we may not have control over every external event, we possess the power to determine our responses and shape our inner landscape. In doing so, we transcend the role of passive bystanders and become active architects of our destinies. We'll explore together some powerful areas where you can exert more control transforming your life into something you design rather than something that happens to you. One, your work-life balance. Finding balance between professional success and personal fulfillment is like walking a tightrope, isn't it? We all strive for that sweet spot where our careers flourish alongside our passions and relationships. But achieving this delicate equilibrium requires conscious effort and a willingness to prioritize the things that truly matter outside the office walls. One of the secrets to achieving this balance is carving out dedicated time for the things that bring us joy and meaning beyond our professional pursuits. It's about nurturing relationships with loved ones, diving into hobbies that spark creativity, or simply allowing ourselves moments of restorative relaxation. Imagine a life where every day is sprinkled with moments of genuine fulfillment and contentment. Our surroundings play a significant role in shaping our well-being too. A cluttered workspace can leave us feeling frazzled and overwhelmed, stifling our productivity and creativity. On the other hand, a calm and organized environment can provide the fertile ground for focus and inspiration to flourish. And it's not just our workspaces. Our homes should also serve as sanctuaries of peace and comfort, places where we can unwind and recharge after a long day. Picture a cozy corner where you can curl up with a good book or a serene bedroom that invites deep, restful sleep. Goals act as guiding stars, illuminating the path towards our desired future. Whether they're lofty career aspirations or personal growth milestones, having clear goals gives us direction and purpose. They serve as a roadmap, helping us navigate life's twists and turns with intention and determination. Envision a life where each step forward is a deliberate move towards a brighter, more fulfilling future. Of course, none of this matters if we neglect our most precious asset, our health. Prioritizing healthy habits, from nourishing our bodies with wholesome foods to staying active and getting enough rest, is essential for living a vibrant, fulfilling life. When we take care of ourselves physically and mentally, we equip ourselves with the resilience and vitality needed to tackle whatever challenges come our way. Imagine waking up each morning feeling refreshed and energized, ready to seize the day with gusto. Ultimately, the ideal life is one where professional success and personal fulfillment coalesce seamlessly, where each aspect complements and enriches the other. It's about finding harmony in the chaos of everyday life, prioritizing what truly matters, and embracing a holistic approach to well-being. So as you navigate the tightrope of life, remember to savor the moments of joy, nurture your relationships, and prioritize your health and happiness above all else. Two, your social media use. In today's digital realm, social media reigns supreme, 
completely transforming our methods of connection and communication. These platforms serve as remarkable tools for maintaining bonds with loved ones across vast distances, constructing communities centered on shared interests, and nurturing a genuine sense of belonging. However, let's face it, prudence is essential in our utilization of them. Social media possesses the propensity to morph into a time-consuming abyss, inundating us with negativity and devouring precious hours. The crux lies in achieving equilibrium between staying connected and exercising discretion regarding our content consumption. The allure of social media lies in its instantaneous connectivity and perpetual stream of information. News, entertainment, and updates from acquaintances are merely a tap away. Nevertheless, the endless scrolling can ensnare us. We become immersed in feeds brimming with content, and before we realize it, hours have vanished. Hours that could have been devoted to activities that genuinely enrich us. It's imperative to scrutinize our social media habits. Do our interactions foster enrichment and forge authentic connections, or do they merely serve as distractions that deplete our energy? Mindfulness on social media transcends mere time management. It extends to curating the content we encounter. By selecting platforms that resonate with our interests and principles, we can cultivate a far more fulfilling online experience. Picture following inspiring creators or engaging with communities dedicated to self-improvement. Such engagements can leave us feeling motivated and empowered. Conversely, a feed inundated with negativity and turmoil can exact a toll on our mental well-being. We possess the agency to dictate what we expose ourselves to, and by actively filtering out negativity, we can safeguard our mental health and foster a more positive online environment. Ultimately, navigating social media necessitates a delicate balancing act. While we yearn for connection and a sense of belonging, we must also prioritize our well-being. By exercising restraint in our consumption and approaching our interactions with mindfulness, we can harness the potential of these platforms for constructive connection. This mindful approach cultivates a healthier relationship with social media, one where we feel empowered and purposeful in our engagement with this omnipresent facet of our digital existence. Imagine a scenario where someone, let's call them Alex, initially embraced social media to stay connected with friends and family. Like many of us, Alex initially dove headfirst into social media. It was a fantastic way to stay connected with friends and family, offering a constant stream of updates and a warm sense of belonging. Scrolling became a familiar pastime, a way to fill downtime and feel connected. But slowly, a shift began. The hours spent online ticked upwards, and Alex noticed a change. The endless scroll felt less engaging, more like a mindless habit. The content itself started to feel draining. Instead of feeling uplifted by friends' updates, Alex found themselves comparing their own life to the highlight reels they saw online. Negative news stories and endless comparisons left them feeling depleted. It was a wake-up call. Alex realized they needed to take control of their social media habits for their own well-being. So Alex started to be more mindful. They curated their feed, ditching accounts that triggered negativity or comparison, and filling it with content that inspired and motivated them. Boundaries were set. Specific times were allocated for social media, leaving plenty of room for offline activities that truly nourished their soul. The change was remarkable. Social media transformed from a source of negativity into a tool for positive connection and inspiration. Alex discovered online communities that mirrored their interests and values, fostering enriching conversations and a sense of shared purpose. They were connecting with others on a deeper level, feeling supported and inspired. Alex's journey highlights the importance of a mindful approach to social media. By taking control and prioritizing well-being, Alex cultivated a healthier relationship with these platforms. Social media became a source of joy, inspiration, and authentic human connection, enriching their life in a positive way. Three, your morning routine. Picture the awakening each dawn greeted with a sense of rejuvenation and vigor, prepared to confront the trials and delights that lie ahead. This potency stems from a meticulously crafted morning regimen, a series of rituals that lay the groundwork for a day teeming with productivity and positivity. Consistency emerges as the linchpin, prompting the establishment of a regular awakening hour, 
transforming oneself into a gentle herald of dawn. This practice aids in regulating one's sleep patterns, fostering profound rest and heightened vitality throughout the day. Incorporating physical exertion into this regimen serves as another formidable method of setting a buoyant atmosphere. It need not entail lengthy sessions at the gym, a brisk saunter amidst nature, a yoga sequence that elongates the body and pacifies the mind, or even a swift hit session within the confines of one's abode can work marvels. Physical activity spurs the circulation, amplifying cerebral oxygenation and uplifting the spirits, leaving one invigorated and primed to seize the day. Nourishing the body with a wholesome breakfast holds equal significance. Eschew the saccharine cereals and factory-made pastries. Instead, opt for a well-rounded repast brimming with protein, complex carbohydrates, and nourishing fats. This furnishes sustained energy throughout the morning, warding off the dreaded mid-morning lethargy that threatens to derail focus and efficacy. Contemplate whole grain toast with eggs and avocado, a Greek yogurt parfait teeming with berries and granola, or a verdant smoothie fortified with spinach, protein powder, and banana. A nourishing breakfast lays the foundation for success, furnishing the body with the essential components for optimal performance. The merits of a comprehensive morning regimen transcend mere transient satisfaction. By prioritizing wholesome choices from the moment of awakening, one charts a course towards a positive trajectory for the remainder of the day. Perhaps moments are carved out for mindfulness practices such as meditation or journaling. Maybe a cup of coffee is savored while perusing the pages of an enriching tome. Each facet of the regimen assumes a role in shaping one's mindset and approach to the forthcoming day. Thus, the stage is set for a day characterized by focus, serenity, and a profound sense of purpose. 4. Your Thoughts Our minds are a vibrant theater where thoughts pirouette and sway, wielding significant influence over our emotions and actions. When negativity takes center stage, it's as if a troop of ominous clouds gathers, casting shadows over our inner landscape. These pessimistic ruminations swiftly dim our spirits and sap our drive, leaving us feeling disheartened and lethargic. Yet amidst this tumult of thoughts, there exists a glimmer of hope, the power to challenge and reshape our mental landscape. Picture negative thoughts as unwelcome visitors knocking on the door of our consciousness we possess the agency to graciously decline their entry. Techniques such as cognitive reframing furnish us with a potent tool for this purpose. Through reframing, we scrutinize negative thoughts, disentangling them from their gloomy connotations and infusing them with a more positive hue. Positive affirmations emerge as rays of sunlight piercing through the cloud cover of negativity. These succinct yet potent declarations serve as affirmations of our potential and prowess. As we repeat these affirmations to ourselves, like mantras whispered to the soul, they work to recalibrate our mindset, nurturing seeds of optimism that can blossom into robust confidence throughout the day. Picture commencing each day with a simple yet profound affirmation, such as, I am capable, or, today will be a good day. These affirmations act as seeds of self-assurance, sowing the fertile ground of our consciousness with the promise of positivity. By challenging negative thoughts and sowing the fertile ground of our consciousness with the seeds of positive affirmations, we inaugurate a virtuous cycle of optimism within ourselves. This upward spiral imbues us with the resilience and confidence to confront challenges with an optimistic gaze. Envision a version of yourself imbued with confidence and fortitude, poised to confront the vicissitudes of life with unwavering resolve. Such is the transformative power of nurturing a positive internal narrative, a narrative that paints the canvas of our minds with hues of hope and resilience. Accept the things to which fate binds you and love the people with whom fate brings you together, but do so with all your heart. These powerful words come from Marcus Aurelius, a Roman emperor who was also a big believer in Stoic philosophy. For Aurelius, this quote is all about cultivating a positive internal narrative. He's saying that some things in life are simply out of our control. Fate deals us a hand, and we have to play it. But here's the kicker. We can choose how we play it. We can choose to embrace the circumstances we're given, the people we meet along the way, and give it our all. There's a real lesson here about dealing with life's ups and downs. 
Some things will happen, good or bad, and we can't change that. Aurelius isn't suggesting we just give up. Instead, he's advocating for acceptance and love. By accepting what we can't control, we can find peace. By loving the people fate throws our way, we can build strong connections. This stoic principle is all about finding the silver lining. When things get tough, we can use it to reframe the situation and see it as a chance to learn and grow. Instead of dwelling on the negatives, we can focus on the good stuff, the blessings we have, the relationships that nourish us. Ultimately, Aurelius's quote is a reminder to approach life with an open mind and a positive outlook. It's about finding meaning and purpose in every moment, no matter what fate throws our way. 5. Your Habits Let's imagine your life as a garden. Some plants flourish, habits that bring you joy and success. Others, however, are like weeds, ingrained patterns that choke your potential. These automatic behaviors, so deeply woven into your daily routine, can hold you back from reaching your full bloom. The first step to a thriving garden, both literal and metaphorical, is pulling those weeds. Identifying the habits that hinder your progress is crucial for personal growth. By taking a close look at your daily routines, you can spot the patterns that create roadblocks. Maybe it's the mindless scrolling on your phone that eats away at your productivity, or the negative self-talk that chips away at your confidence. Recognizing these detrimental habits is like uncovering the hidden weeds in your garden, the first step towards a more vibrant space. Once you've identified the weeds, it's time to plant some new flowers. These new, affirmative habits become the stepping stones leading you towards your goals and aspirations. Maybe it's replacing your evening scroll with reading a few pages of an inspiring book, or replacing negative self-talk with positive affirmations. Just like planting new flowers, changing habits takes time and effort. Our brains are wired for routine, and creating new neural pathways requires deliberate practice and consistency. Don't get discouraged if it doesn't happen overnight. The rewards of positive change are worth the investment. The key to a flourishing garden lies in taking an active role. Just as a gardener doesn't sit back and watch the weeds grow, personal growth requires a proactive approach. Instead of passively succumbing to familiar routines, actively cultivate habits that nourish your growth and well-being. Each new habit becomes a building block, strengthening your foundation for success and empowering you to take control of your life. Cultivating positive habits is like planting the seeds of transformation. By consciously shaping your behaviors and thought patterns, you pave the way for a more fulfilling and purposeful life. Through introspection, determination, and a commitment to continuous improvement, you unlock the vast potential within yourself, blossoming beyond the limitations imposed by outdated habits. Just like a well-tended garden, your life can flourish with intentionality and care. Our daily lives are an intricate dance between ingrained habits, some propelling us forward, others holding us back. Identifying these behavioral patterns is the first step towards taking control. This self-awareness becomes a powerful tool, allowing us to confront negative habits head on. Imagine shining a spotlight on these hidden weeds in your personal garden. Once identified, they can be uprooted and replaced with something more nourishing. These new routines empower us to become the architects of our daily lives, no longer slaves to unconscious patterns. Think of replacing mindless scrolling with focused reading sessions, or swapping negative self-talk with positive affirmations. Through consistent practice, these new behaviors solidify, forming a reliable framework for navigating life's challenges, both big and small. The very act of habit formation fosters valuable traits like discipline and resilience, each small incremental change cultivates a growth mindset, making us more adaptable and capable. Imagine facing setbacks with grace and perseverance, a stark contrast to being derailed by them. This newfound resilience empowers us to weather any storm life throws our way. We become the authors of our lives, aligning our behaviors with our values and aspirations. This journey fosters a sense of autonomy and fulfillment, a deep connection to ourselves and the world we inhabit. Imagine a life brimming with intentionality, where each action serves as a stepping stone towards a more fulfilling future. 6. Your Finances Taking control of your finances is like steering your own ship towards a secure and prosperous future. The first step on this journey is crafting a budget, 
a detailed roadmap that charts your income, expenses, and most importantly, your savings goals. This plan acts as a financial compass, guiding you towards smart allocation of your hard-earned money. By meticulously building your budget, you gain valuable insight into your spending priorities, allowing you to make informed decisions about where each dollar goes. Next comes the crucial practice of tracking your spending. Think of it as taking a financial inventory. This involves vigilant monitoring of your outflows across various categories, from essentials like housing and groceries to discretionary spending on entertainment and hobbies. By maintaining meticulous records, you gain a nuanced understanding of your consumption patterns. This newfound awareness empowers you to identify areas where adjustments might be necessary to foster greater financial prudence. Perhaps you discover you're spending more on dining out than groceries. A simple shift in habits can free up resources for other goals. Equally important is cultivating a habit of saving for the future. This financial cornerstone lays the groundwork for long-term economic security. By regularly setting aside a portion of your income for savings and investments, you're building a sturdy financial foundation. This foundation acts as a safety net, catching you if unexpected expenses arise, and a springboard that propels you towards your financial objectives. Whether you're contributing to retirement accounts, establishing an emergency fund, or exploring strategic investments, regular saving practices become a bulwark against financial uncertainty. By seamlessly integrating budgeting, spending tracking, and saving practices into your financial routine, you empower yourself with a sense of mastery over your economic destiny. Armed with knowledge, discipline, and foresight, you can navigate the complexities of financial management with confidence. Your financial goals evolve from distant aspirations into tangible milestones on the path to greater financial autonomy and peace of mind. Through steadfast dedication and prudent decision-making, you'll witness your financial security and tranquility transform from hopeful dreams into your lived reality. Financial stability isn't just a number in a bank account. It's the cornerstone of a life brimming with possibility. Here's why taking charge of your finances is the first step towards a fulfilling existence. Imagine a life free from the constant undercurrent of financial worry. Financial stability acts as a safety net, lifting the burden of anxiety and freeing your mind to focus on what truly matters. This newfound peace of mind allows you to truly invest yourself in the things that bring you joy, whether it's pursuing a creative passion project or finally embarking on that long-awaited dream vacation. Financial security creates the space for you to breathe easier and dedicate yourself fully to the pursuits that nourish your soul. Next, financial control empowers you to make choices that resonate with your deepest values. Having a clear understanding of your income, expenses, and savings goals becomes your financial compass. This knowledge guides you towards allocating your hard-earned money in ways that align with your priorities. Perhaps you value experiences over material possessions, prioritizing travel or personal development. Financial awareness empowers you to tailor your spending to reflect these values, fostering a life of authenticity and intentionality. In plus, the benefits extend far beyond the realm of your bank account. Mastering your finances cultivates valuable character traits like discipline and resilience, qualities that translate into every facet of your life. The habits of meticulous budgeting, consistent saving, and prudent investment become transferable skills. You approach your relationships with the same diligence, tackling challenges with a newfound sense of resolve. Your career flourishes as you apply this financial prudence, making informed decisions about your professional path. Personal development becomes a natural extension of your financial journey as you invest in yourself and your growth with the same focused determination. And finally, financial control unlocks the door to a future brimming with possibilities. Imagine having the secure financial foundation to pursue that coveted higher education degree or finally launch the business you've been meticulously planning. A solid financial footing empowers you to seize opportunities as they arise, whether it's a dream vacation or a life-changing adventure. With financial stability as your springboard, you can confidently and enthusiastically chase your aspirations, knowing you have the resources to turn them into reality.
Taking control of your finances isn't just about managing numbers. It's about paving the way for a life filled with freedom, purpose, and the ability to pursue your dreams with unwavering determination. Seven, you're learning. Embarking on the journey of learning something new every day can significantly contribute to enhancing one's quality of life. Let's consider a real life example to illustrate this point. Meet Sarah, a marketing professional who decides to dedicate herself to learning a new skill every day. She begins by taking online courses in digital marketing, graphic design, and social media management. By acquiring these skills, Sarah not only enhances her professional expertise, but also opens up new career opportunities and possibilities for advancement within her field. Additionally, Sarah decides to learn a new language, a challenge she has always wanted to undertake, but never found the time for. Over the course of several months, she dedicates a portion of her day to studying Spanish, immersing herself in the language through online tutorials, language apps, and conversational practice with native speakers. As a result, Sarah not only gains proficiency in Spanish, but also broadens her cultural horizons and develops a deeper appreciation for diversity. Furthermore, Sarah decides to explore a new hobby, photography. Armed with a camera and a passion for capturing the world around her, she embarks on a journey of artistic exploration, experimenting with composition, lighting, and perspective. Through her newfound hobby, Sarah discovers a creative outlet that brings her joy and fulfillment, allowing her to unwind and express herself outside the demands of her professional life. As Sarah continues her quest to learn something new every day, she finds that the cumulative effects of her efforts extend far beyond the acquisition of knowledge and skills. She experiences increased confidence in her abilities, heightened mental agility, and a sense of personal fulfillment derived from ongoing growth and self-improvement. Ultimately, Sarah's commitment to lifelong learning not only enriches her life, but also serves as a catalyst for positive change and personal transformation. Every turn down a shelf, every dusty tome you pick up, unveils a new vista of knowledge. This adventure is fueled by a single idea, never stop learning. It's a commitment to keep growing, to push your horizons a little further every day. At the heart of this philosophy is the daily grind of learning something new. It's a challenge, sure, but one that throws open the doors to discovery. Maybe it's getting lost in a book, a conversation that sparks a fresh idea, or even just exploring a new hobby. Every time you learn something new, it's like finding a hidden passage in the library, leading you to deeper understanding and broader perspectives. Lifelong learning isn't just about school. It's about igniting a fire of curiosity within yourself, a hunger for knowledge that never goes out. From the mind-blowing mysteries of science to the beauty of art and culture, everything around you becomes a teacher. The pursuit of learning is a deeply rewarding journey. Think about your daily routine, it doesn't have to be all work and no play. By embracing lifelong learning, you can turn even the mundane into an opportunity to grow. Reflecting on your day, trying something new, or diving headfirst into a new experience, each encounter with knowledge broadens your view of the world and makes you appreciate it that much more. In the end, lifelong learning is a celebration of the human mind's potential. It's a reminder that knowledge isn't a finish line, but a never-ending journey it's a path filled with endless chances to grow, become wiser, and find fulfillment. So grab your metaphorical library card and embrace the adventure. You never know what amazing discoveries await you on the next shelf. Eight, your grudges. Dwelling on past hurts, whether they stem from betrayal, injustice, or disappointment, inevitably inflicts long-term damage upon our emotional landscape. The weight of resentment acts as an anchor dragging us down and hindering our personal growth. It erects formidable barriers around our inner peace, impeding the flow of clarity and freedom within our minds and hearts. Clinging tenaciously to past wrongs, we find ourselves ensnared in a vicious cycle of negativity, where bitterness and discontent ferment, poisoning our thoughts and feelings. However, amidst the shadows of resentment, forgiveness emerges as a beacon of light offering a path to liberation from the suffocating grip of animosity. By summoning the courage to release the offenses that have wounded us, we unfetter ourselves from the chains that bind our hearts, granting space for healing and renewal to take root. 
Forgiveness, with its gentle touch, acts as a soothing balm, tenderly mending the raw wounds left behind by past grievances. In its wake, it nurtures a sense of inner harmony and fortifies our emotional resilience, equipping us with the strength to weather life's storms. Forgiveness, indeed, is a potent elixir for the soul, endowing us with the power to reclaim agency over our emotional narrative. It is an act of rewriting, a deliberate reshaping of our story, wherein we chart a course toward a future unencumbered by the shadows of the past. Through the transformative alchemy of forgiveness, we transcend the limiting confines of bitterness, emerging on the other side with hearts brimming with compassion and minds illuminated by understanding. Letting go of grudges, therefore, represents not only a profound act of self-love, but also an empowering declaration of our inherent worthiness to live a life unburdened by the weight of resentment. Imagine this scenario. You confide in your closest friend, sharing something deeply personal, trusting them implicitly. Then unexpectedly, you discover that they've betrayed your trust by revealing your secret to others. The sting of betrayal cuts deep, leaving you feeling hurt betrayed, and enveloped in a cloud of simmering resentment. Each interaction with your friend becomes laden with tension, the memory of their betrayal casting a shadow over your relationship. As days turn into weeks, the resentment festers, poisoning not only your friendship, but also your own sense of inner peace and happiness. It's as if you're trapped in a cycle, unable to shake off the hurt that lingers like a stubborn stain. Yet amidst the turmoil, a realization slowly dawns upon you. Clinging on to this grudge is akin to holding on to a burning ember. It only scorches your own soul. Forgiveness, you come to understand, isn't about excusing your friend's actions. Rather, it's about liberating yourself from the suffocating grip of resentment. With newfound clarity and resolve, you muster the courage to confront your friend. You express your hurt and disappointment candidly, yet you also extend an olive branch of forgiveness offering a chance to mend the rift between you. In doing so, you unburden yourself from the weight of bitterness that has been weighing you down. As the days pass, a palpable shift occurs in your friendship. The barrier erected by resentment dissipates, replaced by a newfound sense of openness and authenticity. Through honest communication and mutual understanding, the bonds of trust begin to mend, stronger and more resilient than before. In forgiving your friend, you not only extend grace to them, but also to yourself, releasing the negative emotions that have held you captive. With the weight of resentment lifted, you feel lighter, more liberated, and better equipped to navigate the complexities of human relationships. This transformative journey exemplifies the profound power of forgiveness. It clears the path for healing, growth, and deeper connections in our lives. In essence, Refusing to harbor grudges signifies a steadfast commitment to personal liberation and emotional fortitude. Learning to forgive, to release the shackles of resentment, is akin to unlocking the doors to our inner sanctum where peace and well-being reside. It is a journey of healing and renewal, wherein we find the courage to transcend the wounds of the past and embrace a future suffused with the radiant promise of possibility and hope. 9. Your Perfectionism Perfectionism, with its relentless pursuit of flawlessness, breeds chronic stress and gnawing anxiety, casting a shadow over every aspect of life. It burdens the mind and spirit with the weight of unrealistic expectations, transforming even the simplest tasks into daunting challenges fraught with the potential for disappointment. This ceaseless quest for unattainable perfection becomes a heavy burden to bear, casting a pall over moments of joy and contentment leaving individuals feeling perpetually dissatisfied and unfulfilled. Recognizing the pitfalls of perfectionism is paramount for maintaining a healthy balance in life's pursuits. The setting of impossible standards establishes a precedent for perpetual dissatisfaction and relentless self-criticism, creating an environment where even minor mistakes are perceived as catastrophic failures rather than opportunities for growth. Embracing imperfection, on the other hand, fosters greater resilience in the face of challenges, nurturing a mindset characterized by acceptance and self-compassion. Cultivating self-awareness and practicing self-compassion serve as powerful antidotes to the corrosive effects of perfectionism. By embracing oneself, flaws and all, individuals engage in a profound act of self-love and resilience, 
freeing themselves from the suffocating grip of unattainable ideals. Rather than striving endlessly for perfection, embracing one's humanity allows for greater authenticity and connection with others, paving the way for a more fulfilling and balanced life. Acknowledging the limitations of perfectionism represents the initial step towards cultivating a healthier relationship with oneself and the world. Embracing imperfection nurtures greater emotional well-being and resilience in navigating life's challenges. By relinquishing the grip of impossible standards, individuals liberate themselves from the shackles of self-doubt and insecurity, opening themselves up to a world characterized by self-acceptance, growth, and profound fulfillment. It is not that we have a short time to live, but that we waste a lot of it. Life is long enough, and a generous amount has been given to us for the highest purposes if it were all well invested. Seneca, this proverb highlights the importance of using our time wisely and not letting it be consumed by the pursuit of flawlessness. Seneca emphasizes that life is long enough for meaningful pursuits, but only if we don't waste it striving for the unattainable. Seneca's wisdom speaks to the profound notion that our perception of time is not the issue. Rather, it's how we utilize it that truly matters. He reminds us that life affords us ample time for meaningful endeavors, provided we invest it wisely. The emphasis is not on the brevity of life, but on our propensity to squander it on pursuits that ultimately yield little fulfillment. In our relentless pursuit of flawlessness, we risk sacrificing the richness and depth that life has to offer. The crux of Seneca's message lies in the concept of investing our time judiciously. Instead of fixating on the unattainable ideal of perfection, he urges us to channel our energy into pursuits that align with our highest purposes. By reframing our approach to time management, we can unlock the potential for profound growth and fulfillment. Life's journey becomes less about striving for an elusive standard of perfection and more about embracing the imperfect beauty of the present moment. Seneca's words serve as a poignant reminder to reevaluate our priorities and seize the opportunities that life presents us. Rather than frittering away our days in pursuit of an unattainable ideal, we are encouraged to invest our time in endeavors that enrich our lives and the lives of those around us. It is through this intentional investment of time and energy that we can truly make the most of the generous gift of life that has been bestowed upon us. 10 your comfort zone. Idea to breaking free from the confines of familiarity isn't merely an exhilarating prospect, but a vital catalyst for personal growth and development. It's through these ventures into the unknown that we truly expand our horizons and deepen our understanding of ourselves and the world around us. Exploration of new areas pushes the boundaries of our knowledge and experiences, offering invaluable insights and lessons along the way. Contrary to popular belief, discomfort can actually be a valuable ally on our journey of self-discovery and fulfillment. It signifies our willingness to step beyond our comfort zone and embrace the challenges of unfamiliar terrain. These moments of discomfort serve as transformative opportunities, propelling us towards greater self-awareness and personal growth. Instead of shying away from discomfort, we should view it as a sign that we're on the right path towards becoming the best versions of ourselves. Let's step outside our comfort zone requires a considerable amount of courage and resilience. It necessitates facing the unknown with an open mind and a willingness to embrace new experiences and perspectives. While the initial venture may seem daunting, the rewards of growth and discovery that await us are immeasurable. By daring to push past our perceived limitations, we unlock hidden reservoirs of potential and open doors to endless possibilities for growth and fulfillment. And then, being willing to venture beyond the safety of familiarity is a testament to our commitment to personal growth and self-improvement. When we embrace discomfort as an opportunity rather than a roadblock, we embark on a transformative journey of self-discovery and empowerment. It's through these bold and courageous actions that we truly come into our own realizing our full potential and embracing the extraordinary opportunities that lie beyond the boundaries of the familiar. Within the sanctuary of the comfort zone, individuals find solace in the familiar rhythms of routine and habit. This enclave of predictability offers a haven of stability in the tumultuous currents of life. 
Through the repetition of familiar actions and the adherence to established patterns, individuals cultivate a sense of control over their daily existence. Embedded within the comfort zone lies a fortress of emotional regulation. Shielded from the turbulence of uncertainty, individuals navigate their inner landscapes with steadfast composure. By retreating to the familiar, they safeguard their emotional equilibrium, preserving a sense of tranquility amidst life's storms. Yet the comfort zone is more than a mere refuge. It serves as a bastion of risk management. Within its walls, individuals meticulously weigh the costs and benefits of venturing beyond its boundaries. By exercising caution and prudence, they safeguard themselves against potential threats, maintaining a delicate balance between safety and exploration. In conclusion, the comfort zone stands as a sanctuary of stability, offering respite from the chaos of the outside world. Within its confines, individuals find solace in routine, regulate their emotions, and manage risk with judicious care. While the comfort zone provides a valuable anchor in navigating life's uncertainties, it's essential to recognize the importance of occasionally venturing beyond its borders to embrace growth and new experiences. Deep down, we all want to control life. It's like a built-in feature, right? It keeps us feeling safe and secure. We all create these routines, habits, all that stuff to build a stable foundation for ourselves. We create this comfort zone, a cozy little space where everything feels predictable. Like that old sweatshirt you love, comfy, familiar, but maybe not exactly how you conquer the world. But here's the thing, the comfort zone, while comfy, can get a little too comfy. It's like staying in your pajamas all day. Sure, it's cozy, but not exactly how you learn a new language or finally bake that amazing cake you've been eyeing in the recipe book. The world's always changing, throwing new things at us, and if we just stay stuck in our safe space, we miss out on all sorts of experiences and opportunities to grow. Think about it. Life throws curveballs. It's unpredictable, like that sudden downpour that ruins your picnic plans. That's why staying present mindful of what's happening right now is key. When stuff hits the fan, you can handle it better if you're focused on the present stuck in the past or worrying about the future. Like if you're freaking out about that presentation tomorrow, you're not going to be focused on giving your best today, right? In the end, trying to control everything just leads to stress. It's like trying to white knuckle your way through a roller coaster. Sure, you might technically be in control, but you're also missing out on all the fun. The real magic happens when you embrace the unknown, take some chances, and learn to adapt. By being mindful, adaptable, and willing to step outside your comfort zone, you open yourself up to a whole world of possibilities. Imagine yourself finally taking that dance class you've always wanted to try, or maybe even going on that solo trip you've been dreaming about. It might be scary at first, stepping outside your comfort zone, but that's where the growth happens. You learn new things about yourself, discover hidden strengths, and maybe even make some amazing new friends along the way. It's all about finding that sweet spot between feeling secure and being open to new experiences. It's like having a sturdy base camp for your adventures, but also having the courage to explore the uncharted territory beyond. That's how you truly make the most of life, wouldn't you say? Embrace the present, embrace the unknown, and embrace the amazing journey of growth and self-discovery that awaits.